Well, this MLK Day has even more significance this year for a fifth grader in Dallas ISD. Dominic Paterno from Harry C. Withers Elementary is the winner of the 29th annual MLK Junior Oratory Competition. He competed against seven other fourth and fifth grade DISD finalists last Friday to be crowned this year's champion. And he's no stranger to the competition. He came in second place last year. I spoke with him earlier this morning about his big win and why, even with a significantly smaller audience, it was still a daunting experience. I was really nervous still just walking up on that stage and, and saying my speech as well as, you know, still speaking in front of people. It still can be pretty nerve-wracking even with lots of people and less amount of people. The topic of this year's speeches was how do you think Dr. King's teachings can help us today? And as we go to break, here is Dominic's winning oratory. The time is always right to do the right thing. It is time to act, and that means starting with yourself. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has many teachings that we can all learn from today. I believe that there are four lessons that would help the world be more united. One, Dr. King emphasized having intentional purpose, knowing your cause, Second, change is constant. It is your reaction that matters. Third, enlist your best allies, even if they're not your best friends. Fourth, and most importantly, persevere. Dr. King emphasized having intentional purpose, knowing your cause. When you have passion for what you believe in, get more influence with your words. It is today that we are seeking to accept a contract with black America. Influencers such as musicians, politicians, and educators have come together to address the root causes of racism and develop a roadmap for a comprehensive solution. The purpose of this is to provide greater financial opportunities for black American families. This is a perfect example of knowing what you are fighting for. It is a journey that will take lots of hard work and effort, and we will see this through. Change is constant. It is your reaction that matters. In today's world, with the Black Lives Matter, Martin Luther King Jr. would support the cause, but shun the violence. He believed in nonviolent protests. Protests have become more dangerous over the years. I witnessed in Austin, Texas, and their own city of Dallas, where streets were blocked off by the police because of riots. I saw vandalism and profanity written on the walls of businesses. This type of behavior is unacceptable. We need to not overreact. There is no reason we, can share, we cannot share our beliefs with love and kindness. Ultimately, we are all fighting for a better world to live in. Enlist your best allies, even if they're not your best friends. Your best friends support and love you for who you are. Allies have your back. They challenge you and are tough. They will tell you when you're not living up to your own expectations. You might not always agree, but you need to work through your differences to reach your results. Sometimes you must give up something to get what you want. Regardless of which of the table you sit on, wh whether you're a blue state or a red state, whether you're a person of color or not, we are all humans. This is the type of maturity that we need to see. Fourth, and most importantly, persevere. When faced with setbacks, will you stop or move forward? You must have the confidence and work ethic to continue to push forward in trying times. My favorite actor died from cancer this summer. He was the Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman, and he had a statement that Dr. King would have embraced. Fearlessness means taking the first step. Even if you don't know where it will take you, it means being driven by a higher purpose rather than applause. It means knowing that you reveal your character when you stand apart more than when you stand with the crowd. Racism 
is like cancer. You never give up the fight. These four teachings that I have highlighted are just a few of the many Martin Luther King Jr. taught in his time. We need to pursue the truth within ourselves. We need to continue to fight for what is right and have compassion and faith for one another. President-elect Joe Biden addressed the nation and quoted from the hymn, On Eagle's Wings. He said, and he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, and make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand. Let us rejoice with our humanity, and with God's strength, we will persevere. Our Americanness is not enough. We must be united. Believe, be real, be you. Thank you.